This your boy Big Child Support. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Girl Bastard on the game. It's a dead nigga. Uh, I let that chopper spray. If you won't smoke, nigga, this shit come in every shape. And I we got Big Child Support off the porch with us. Oh, yeah. How you feeling today, bro? Good. Good as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you coming by, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, shit, you've been blowing up here the last few months, man. What's life been like for you? Yeah, yeah, shit. Just traveling a lot and shit. Back yeah. and forth from Dallas and shit. Okay. That's why I live there and shit. So. Yeah. Traveling a lot. L.A. and shit. I love L.A. So I'll be there a lot. Oh, yeah? Hell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good vibes out there, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's take it back. So, you, you were originally born in Chicago? Yeah, originally oh. born in Chicago, South Side. Okay. Yeah. How old were you when you moved out to Dallas? Shit, probably like 12, 13. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What'd you think when you moved out to Dallas? How did it compare back to Chicago? I ain't fuck with it at first. Nah. Uh, hell nah. Uh, shit, like, in Chicago, like, I ain't really even see a lot of white people type shit. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, because we was from the projects, for real. So yeah. I, I ain't really see, like, and then moved to Dallas. And then, like, it was like a lot of, like, it was like a culture shock almost type okay. shit. Yeah. And, like, like, shit that would fly in Chicago did not fly in Dallas type of shit. So I was uh, still on the same shit I was in Chicago. And it was just like a hard transition a little bit. Yeah. But other than that shit, it's chilling now. Yeah. Shit, I run Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Dallas did you move to at first? Fort Worth. Well, no, first I moved to Arlington. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Arlington, Fort Worth, yeah. Yeah. I moved, uh, shit, I call it Dallas. It's all the same shit to me. But, like, yeah. I uh, moved to uh, Arlington and shit. And then uh, from Arlington, I moved to... Uh, like Keller, Air no, I moved to um, where the fuck did I move to? Uh, <laughs> I moved from Arlington to Euless, back to Arlington, then to Keller. Hmm. Yeah, so I've been all over the place in Dallas type shit. That's where basically where I grew up in and shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Arlington is a big difference than the South Side of Chicago, like you said. Hell yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take you to you know feel comfortable out there in Dallas? Shit, probably like, cause like when I got, cause like we would. When I moved to uh, Texas type shit, it wasn't really like no money type shit. Like, hmm. it was like, in Chicago, it's like, you go to school with motherfuckers like around on the block and shit. So it's like, niggas know how much whoever making and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Fort Worth and shit, you don't know type shit. So it was like kind of hard. Cause like, you would have like mobile homes right next to some big ass houses and shit. Oh, shit. So it's like, we started out shit like everybody in my little middle school and shit, they had like J's and shit like that. Hmm. And I ain't really had none of that shit from the uh, jump and then like that shit was kind of hard I say like my junior year of high school is like when I really like turned up oh like, okay off the porch type shit yeah hell yeah yeah and uh now you live in Atlanta hell yeah <laughs> how long you been out here now shit like a year okay a year and a half yeah yeah back and forth type shit okay you like it out here yeah I love it out here yeah shit. I don't like Dallas like that no more no. <laughs> I don't get in trouble out here so oh yeah like, yeah <laughs> Got to just focus strictly on the music when you're out here, right? Hell yeah. yeah. I would focus on the music in Dallas. I was just like, with the guys though. So it was like, hmm. fuck it, yeah. yeah. I never fought with nobody in Dallas though. Like, people like that's from Dallas. Like, I only got like one homie that's like genuinely from Dallas type hmm. shit. And other than that, I don't fuck with nobody that's like from Dallas. Oh, okay. Them niggas was like, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how old were you when you first started rapping then? Shit, my mama said I was rapping since I was like two. I always wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> really? Yeah, mm. I always wanted to be a rapper. I always was like, cause my brothers and shit rap. Yeah. And so like my brother, uh, one of my brothers had got locked up for like 55 years and shit. Oh shit. Shit made me want to take it for real type shit. Yeah. Cause he was rapping and shit and I wanted to be like that nigga. And I was hmm. like, man, I'm gonna just turn up and rap cause I can do this shit. Yeah. For sure, yeah. How long ago was it that your brother got locked up? Uh, probably like, he been in the, the pen for like six years now. Oh wow. Six, seven years. Yeah. 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 That kind of make you want to stay out of the streets and kind of just focus on music, like you said? Shit, kind of, yeah. Uh, shit made me, like, I don't know. Shit made me, like, want to turn up for him, I guess. So, hmm. like, in the streets and on the music shit. So I, But I had to chill out on that shit because, I mean, I really want Because shit started to get serious with the music hmm. type shit. So I wanted to, like, focus on this shit instead of, like, you know, doing the wild shit I've been doing. Because that shit wasn't getting me nowhere. Yeah. Shit wasn't getting me no money for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So coming from Chicago and Dallas, um, how does that influence your sound? Shit, I feel like my sound is different than a lot of motherfuckers because, like, I got both sounds. I feel like, mm. like, I sound like I'm from Chicago and some songs, and then, like, I got a little Dallas, like, a little Southern fucking, like, accent with the shit because, like, that's where I grew up. And, like, that's yeah. how I talk. So it's like a Chicago drill with a Southern sound type shit. Mm. I feel like I tapped that in. 
Yeah. Now I'm starting to get into like the melodies and melodic shit too a lot more. So okay. just from being out here. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I adapt quick. Yeah, it's kind of environment. Yeah, it's kind of start meshing all three of those sounds together. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just did on my last album, with yeah. my last tape and shit. Yeah. I just meshed all of them together and shit. Yeah, shit sound fire. I know you list uh, G Herbo as one of your favorite rappers, Hell right? Yeah, her that nigga go hard. I want to work with her. That's probably like the only one I want to work with. Only nigga I look up to probably in the rap shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't really look up to too many motherfuckers, but her. Yeah, that nigga real nigga. I've been listening to her since I. <laughs> Since I knew what rap was, type really? shit. Really? Hmm. And like Keith and shit like that. Yeah. But that's it. What was it about G Herbo's uh, sound that, you know, or, or his music that you really fucked with? Shit, I don't really know. Like, everybody be like, Herb off beat. Like, when they say he rap, it's like yeah. he off beat. But I don't never hear that nigga off beat. Like, I feel like <laughs> that nigga's on, like, into, and he rap about, like, real shit hmm. that I relate to, type shit. And shit, like, he rap about, like, shit where he wanna be and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why. I look up to that nigga because he spit that real shit. Yeah. 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 Um, you got a favorite song from G Herbo? Uh, shit, probably uh, Drill Shit. Okay. Kill yeah. Shit, Drill Shit, whatever, whatever. It's old with it. Uh, yeah. With him and Bibby, yeah. 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 That shit hard. That's the first song I heard from her. That's what made me like, oh, really? I'm gonna fuck with that nigga. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so I, I gotta ask, how'd you get the name Big Child Support? Shit, I got eight kids type shit. Hmm. You got eight kids. Eight kids, on it. Cool. Yeah, eight kids. Damn. Shit. Nah, I'm playing. I'm bullshitting. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the <laughs> hell did you start getting? <laughs> I'm bullshitting. Nah, my homie, uh, my homie, uh, my dad on child support. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he's still paying on child support and shit. And my mama, one day, she gave me my child support card, like my little debit, like my child support card and shit. Uh. She was like, don't ask me for shit. Like, it's money on here don't ask me for nothing for the week type shit and i was like all right cool and so like i would skip class and shit and i would use the card to buy like me and the bros food and shit hmm. and then one day my homie was like you big child support and i was like what you say <laughs> he was like you big child support and i was like all right i'm, I'm gonna use that i'm like i'm gonna rap on that name i'm gonna change all my social media to that shit hmm. and then the first song i dropped under that had like it did like 10k in a week on soundcloud and i thought i was just this popping ass nigga so i was like fuck it i'm keeping it <laughs> yeah 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 it's definitely a very unique name you know i'm sure you get when you introduce yourself the people may not they know be you like, they're like what the fuck, fuck? <laughs> i still smack the shit out of one of y'all niggas <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh was put in work was that your first big song that you had yeah put in work was the first song okay. that like really like kind of skyrocketed it's at like 15 million on soundcloud oh shit it got like 400k on no jump on the yeah. video and shit like that's the first one that really took off uh, b by jeff produced it and shot it and the evian john edited the video and shit okay that shit went crazy after that yeah had people posting it and shit rappers hitting me up and shit it's crazy <laughs> yeah that shit was nuts yep what was it like watching that song go million after million after million nah it, it really was slow because like <laughs> when i when i first dropped well okay because i didn't even drop it on soundcloud like another page dropped it on soundcloud like i wouldn't even like when i uh Cause this the like this when I tapped in with my managers and shit, hmm. and so they was like, we get your shit on no jump and shit. I ain't never heard like we dreamed to get on no jump or elevator and shit in high school. So yeah. I ain't, that shit was unheard of for me. Hmm. And so uh, they, I was like, let's go to no jumper route. They was like, you can either go world star no jumper. Hmm. And I'm like, hell no, nah, let's go to no jumper. And that shit <laughs> like that's for the kids. And yeah, shit. and I'm for the youth type shit. Mm -hmm. I like I like fucking with the kids and shit like that. So I was um I was like, let's go to no jumper because. That skater look, that little vibe, they gonna pick that shit up quick. Yeah. And um, that shit went crazy on no jumper. Like the first, it went crazy on no jumper first, and then like somebody had picked it up, and then like I kept refreshing it on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. and then like for like three months, the shit was like at a steady like fifty thousand, like three months on they SoundCloud. Yeah. Then all of a sudden that shit hit a million. And I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And then like each like each week that shit was just tapping millions and oh, i was shit. like damn that shit going crazy and then mosey posted it and shit then it tapped another million oh, like, shit. that shit was crazy yeah. yeah shout out mosey that's my boy <laughs> yeah yeah kind of motivates you to just keep keep going at it keep going harder huh hell yeah that shit was crazy yeah and last year you kind of had a breakthrough year you did over three million streams just on i think spotify and apple right hell yeah did three million over over all the platforms and shit yeah murder beats had posted that put in work shit too I forgot oh yeah that. oh yeah. shit. Yeah, he had he was just driving to it and he was playing that shit yeah he was tagging me in that shit but like yeah that shit was crazy yeah i ain't never think i was gonna hit a million on nothing really yeah hell mm. nah. 
So you didn't take, think your career would take off that quick, huh? Uh-uh, I didn't really like, when I was doing the rap shit, like, I ain't gonna say I wasn't taking it serious, cause I was trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was trying to make it type shit, but I ain't never think like it was gonna be crazy like that. Like, I ain't never think it was just gonna be like a million move to Atlanta, like going to LA, <laughs> seeing these big ass houses and chilling and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never think that shit was possible for me. I'm from the yeah. south side of Chicago, like, hell no. So you moved out here to Atlanta for your music career then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. After my shit like took out, I was like, man, I'm staying in Atlanta, man. Yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Niggas was hating in Dallas and shit. Oh, really? I was getting in a lot of shit in Dallas. Like, hmm. had to get up out of there. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about this project you just put out, um, Thou Shall Never Lack. Yeah, Thou Shall Never Lack. Yeah, hell yeah. Why'd you choose that title? And shit, it just cut like, uh, I would say like, that's just like the motto I go by in life. like. But you always got to protect yourself. Like, that should never be lacking in any situation, whether that be in the streets, in this music shit. Like, you got to know your shit everywhere you go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always push everybody around me. Like, even if you don't come from a street background or you don't come from, like, a music background, I encourage you to learn that shit. If you're mm -hmm. around me, learn everything I know so that we all on the same page and you not lacking out here. And can't nobody hold you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's, that's the motto I live by type shit. So I feel like that was the perfect name for that shit. Yeah. What's one of the biggest lessons you learned while in the streets? That's why I never let shit fuck why never never uh just stay humble. Hmm. Like stay humble, stay respectable, be about your shit, be uh keep your word, like don't ever like fold on your word and no shit like that. Cause a lot of niggas out here get fucked up cause they be lying and shit like that. Like, nah, just be a hundred. You know what I'm saying? I learned that shit a lot. Hard lessons learned from being just a hundred percent. You can get whatever you want to if you be honest. Yeah. Yeah. In the streets, but out, out of the streets, anything, yeah. Yeah, no, that's real. All right, I want to talk about this really dope music video for Dead Flow that you put out. Yeah, yeah. Right okay. around in the hearse, got the burning casket. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who came up with this idea? Shit, management did. At first, they wanted me to get in the casket, and I'm like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck that, I ain't getting in no cab. My mom was not going for it. I, I, I talked to my mom about all the ideas I got and shit like yeah. that. I be wanting her to be the happiest for me type shit with this shit. So I be like, look, this the idea we want for the video. This shit about to be crazy. She was like, don't get in that fucking casket. <laughs> and I know, like, my mama don't never, like, for this music shit, she don't ever tell me, like, not to do something or don't mm -hmm. do this. She always be like, just focus and listen to yourself and shit like that. So I, uh, when she told me, like, don't get in the casket, she called me three days in a row, like, don't get in that fucking casket. Like, mm -hmm. I knew, I was like, I ain't getting in that shit. I called one of my reckless ass homies, too. I'm like, bro, I'm about to get in this casket, bro. He like, hell no, nah, bro, don't even fuck with it. And I'm yeah. like, all right, cool, I ain't gonna fuck with it. So then, um, we came up with the idea, like, that casket falling out the back of the hearse yeah. and shit on some real, because, you know, I'm a real disrespectful ass nigga when it comes to this shit, so I just be like, uh, fuck it, let's do it. And, like, we was uh, hesitant doing it, going back and forth about this casket and shit like that, but at the end of the day, we did that shit. It was like, fuck it, that shit went crazy. Yeah. So the honey came out. Yeah, on your own channel at on that. On my own channel, hell yeah. yeah. I was like, well, fuck it. Let's do it. Nah, that's good. Yeah, you don't, don't have to rely on no jumper or world star or anything shit. like that. Yeah, Run nah, it up on your yeah, own. Yeah, I'm trying to move away from that shit. I want to yeah. do my own shit. You know, I'm independent and shit, so yeah. I want to keep that shit in house yeah. with the team. Yeah. And that video was shot by Motion Family. Hell yeah. yeah. So how'd you link up with them? That's my family. They hit me up like when I was in Dallas, it was probably like two years ago. I was hmm. in Dallas. I had like 700 followers <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah. Like probably like 60 on Twitter or some shit like that. <laughs> but my, my SoundCloud was jumping. Okay. Like my SoundCloud was jumping. And like uh, one day uh, my manager had hit me up and shit. He like, um, what you need? Like, let me, let me fuck with you type shit. And then he was like, I'm on some shit. Like when I was in Dallas, I was on some shit like grimy shit. Like I was like, man, I'm scamming niggas. Fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm scamming niggas. So like he hit me up like a feature. He was like, uh, he was like, I got a feature for you. I get you paid for it. Hmm. And I'm like, all right, let me see. And so he was like, I give you 50, uh, 50 for the feature. Like, you know what I'm saying? $50, and you know what I'm saying? I was broke, bro. Fuck it, yeah, like, why yeah. not? But I was, I was planning on like, just running off with that shit. Like, really? man, I ain't about to do this shit, man. I'm about to run off with this 50, man. Cool shit. And then I was like, man, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna just do it. I did the feature and shit. I did it in my crib, because I know how to engineer music and shit. Okay. So I had my own studio. Hmm. And so uh, I did the song and shit, sent it back. He like, cool. And then like he just like kept tapping in with me like yo what you need like what you doing like blah 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 I had a manager at the time he was my homie and yeah. shit but he just knew everybody in the city type shit and I ain't <laughs> know nobody I don't really, I don't like fucking with people and so 
he would, uh, but like he had did some grimy shit. And then one day I had posted like, I need a manager on my, on my Instagram. And then he was like, take this down, I got you. Like my, my manager now, he's like, take this down, I got you. And I was like, all right, cool, I just took a risk. And yeah. he was like, come to Atlanta. Hmm. And I just flew to Atlanta. I got a check from like, I, w- I used to work at Chipotle. I got a check at the job and shit. I flew to Atlanta. I ain't looked back since. I was like, fuck that shit. That's I, it. I, yeah, yeah. And they before put in work. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they before put in work. Oh, shit. I'm like, yeah, man, fuck it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. How soon after did you quit your job at Chipotle? <laughs> Fuck, probably like two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks later, yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah. Well, I was done with that shit. Where my Chipotle man, fuck my Chipotle manager. That nigga said I wasn't gonna be shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you like, quit? Yeah, no, no, no. That was before I quit. Before you he quit. He was like, no. the only thing you good at rapping is burritos or some shit. He said, like, all right, <laughs> oh, cool, shit. whatever. That's I told him too. I was like, bro, watch this in a month. You gonna know me? Like, hmm. you gonna know me in a month? Look what happened. That yeah. nigga still at Chipotle. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that hate shit gets you, you know, cow. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, when you really make it big, you gotta pop up, pop back up on them, you know? Hell yeah, for sure. I always go back. When I go back, I always go to Chipotle. Oh, yeah? All okay. my chains on, my watch. I'll be yeah. like, yeah, nigga, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all. That's all. And, you know, Dead Flow's really dope, but all your music videos are pretty dope, really yeah, creative. Yeah, we always try to set the standard with the music video. We try to be better than everybody else when it comes to music videos, because yeah. my management is music videos, mm-hmm. and they know what time it is. Yeah. So I try to set the standard with the music videos. That's the one thing we really like. You know what I'm saying? If the music video not right, we not doing hmm. type shit, yeah. yeah. Are you pretty hands-on with the visuals as well? A uh, little bit. Okay. Uh, I would say a little bit type shit. You know, they the best editors, the best music videos. Yeah. So I'm just like, I let them like take, full creativity with the music videos and shit, because I know when I do do that shit, it's over with. Like, yeah. Yeah. I got you. Um, all right, let's go back to the project. Uh, who were some of the producers you worked with on there? Shit, Sunday License, 14 Shooters. Uh, who else? Damn. I think majority of 14 Shooters, Sunday License. I think that's it. And uh, I'm trying to think. If I'm forgetting, I'm sorry. Uh, those are my two main producers, so yeah. like, they're the ones I think that's pretty much on the tape and shit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a personal favorite song on that project? Uh, shit, my favorite song is Lie to Me on yeah. my project. Yeah, Lie to Me, it's just real, it's a real shit. I'm like yeah. speaking that real shit, so. Hmm. Lie to Me is my favorite one on the project, I would say, and um, Crunch Time. What are you talking about on Crunch Time? Reckless spin. young nigga shit, yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. Um, Olympic Sedan Records. Is that your label or is that who you just signed to? Nah, I ain't signed to them. That's just the shit we put my music on. Okay. Like, that's my little management. My management, my manager want to start a label and shit. Okay. So we had to put something under. Yeah. The, so I was like, fuck it. But I ain't signed to the okay. Olympic Sedan. It's not. Nah. Yeah. I ain't signed to nobody. Yeah. Is signing with the major, is that important to you? Is that a goal for you? Shit, not really. Yeah. Just because, like, um, it's just, I feel like, um, I, I get mad at people a lot, like, you know, if, it ain't, if I ain't getting my way, and a lot of shit can't go my way if I sign out, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, a lot of shit gotta happen for me in one, like, every day, so if like, it ain't happening how I want it to happen, then I'm getting mad. And mm. I, <laughs> I don't really want, <laughs> I don't want shit to get bad, you know, I don't wanna fuck my name up, you know, I'll yeah. partner with a label, distribution through a label, I don't okay. care, but uh, signing to them, I don't mm. know about all that, yeah, yeah. not yet, though. Yeah. I need to get my own bag first. Yeah, nah, that's yeah. smart. You have to leverage, you know, that way you yeah. get to call your own terms and yeah, all that hell too. Yeah, yeah, I want to have a million before I sign for a million, hmm. you feel me? Yeah, no doubt, that's real. All right, so uh, what do you like about the studios out here in Atlanta? Shit, I can't really compare because I ain't really been there. Before I got to Atlanta, I ain't been in no big studios before. Oh, really? I ain't hmm. never been in no big studio. Everything was home in the hmm. house. So I ain't never, but I, uh, when I came to Atlanta, I seen a big studio, I was like, yeah, I'm fucking with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, better than recording at home, huh? Maybe, shit, Maybe, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of fuck with the at home shit, though. I'd rather an engineer come pull up on me <laughs> and my little crib shit than go to a big one, because, you know, I can have my niggas and all that shit in there. Yeah while we at the crib, but the big studio is cool too. It's a good presentation. Yeah. If I get like a bigger artist or I want to go fuck with a bigger artist and I book a studio session, it's, it's a better presentation than just come to the crib and record type shit. Yeah, bet, bet. Um, how many projects are you trying to drop this year? Three. Three? Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what your next one will be? 
Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out though. I'm working on it now. Okay. But I want it, I want that shit to be right too. Hmm. Type shit. I'm dropping a lot of tapes and shit. Just to push that shit out. I want like yeah, but I don't know what I'm gonna call that bitch yet, but it's gonna be something crazy, something that means something to me. Yeah. Yeah. You starting to work with other producers or are you still sticking with your go to? No, I'm starting to work with other producers now. Nah, okay. Shit, I post on my Instagram. I, I don't like I just don't like like uh I hate reaching out to other producers because <laughs> they they be like, send your beats here and then my email be full with uh, oh, eleven thousand fucking beats. Yeah. I don't like that shit. <laughs> and ciphering through the beats, ciphering through what everything else I gotta do, like Shit crazy. That's why I kind of just stick with the in-house producers, with okay. my producers and shit that I know. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely willing to branch out and go like different producer routes and shit like that. You know, mm -hmm. I ain't I ain't I ain't really that pressed to work with like bigger producers because it's like I do this shit at the crib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How often are you record in there? In my crib. Yeah. Shit every day probably. Every day really. Yeah. <laughs> at the crib and shit. Yeah do it myself and if it don't sound right then i go to the real studio and make it sound right okay yeah yeah uh, uh you'd be performing at south by southwest this year yeah yeah hey yeah first year that you'd be performing out there nah, or did you I go last year last year okay some shit, yeah but yeah. on some like slick like not supposed to be but i did <laughs> like but this year i'm like it's my shit you know yeah. my name on that shit yeah what does a um a performance one of your performances look like Shit, um, crazy, I guess. I ain't really just performed for no like crowd that's like, you know what I'm saying? I, I did a couple performances. Well, I was performing in Dallas. That's how I really got my buzz in Dallas was performing. Okay. Those shows was stupid. Like, they, everybody fucked me out there. So it's like, <laughs> that shit was stupid. Like, yeah, they like the rage out there. Yeah, they like the rage. Hell yeah. I just had a million niggas on stage and we just going crazy. <laughs> like, that's how I fuck with that's, that's what I fuck with. Anything I do gotta be with my niggas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, what's some of your goals for 2020? Shit, blow up. Yeah. I wanna be known everywhere. I don't wanna be able to go to the mall. Hmm. Like, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Get as much money as possible. You know what I'm saying? My goal is to just get bigger. And then I wanna hit a, I wanna billboard, but like, that ain't my 2020 goal. My overall goal is to number one at Big Child Support. With my name, Big oh, Child shit. Support. I wanna number one with a Big Child Support on that hmm. page. They gonna be stupid. Yeah. People gonna be mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be mad as hell. That's what I, do. I just like pissing people off with shit like that. <laughs> proving them wrong. Yeah, know? proving them wrong. That's that's how I got to where I am today. Yeah, it's just proving motherfuckers wrong. That's all I ever want to do. Hmm. You say I can't do something, then I do it. That's that's the best feeling in the world to me. Shit. Yeah. I did that shit. Use that as your motivation, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, all right. Port, anything else you wanna add? Any shout outs? Shit, shout out the gang and them. You know, ain't nothing fucking coming. Shout out Dallas, shout out my homies, shout out Chicago, Chirac. Um, yeah, that's it, that's it. Shout out everybody that's fucking with me right now. Make sure y'all go get that project. Yeah. It's a dead nigga. Uh, I let that chopper spray. If you won't smoke, nigga, this shit come in every shape. And I can't save a topper, cause Laporte don't got a 